Another Brick Fan here with a look at the Avengers Infinity War sets. Lego made six sets and one poly bag for the Avengers Infinity War movie. Everything from the Guardian ship, this small poly bag here, all the way up to the Sanctum Sanctorum, which you see back there. Also included was the Outrider dropship, which you see here. Thor's Weapon Quest, Corvus Glaive Thresher Attack back here, Hulk Buster, Hulk Buster Smash Up is right here, the Thanos Ultimate Battle is the Guardian Ship, the Milano back there, it's the Sanctum Sanctorum as well as Peter Parker's Apartment. We're going to take a quick look at each of these sets individually so you can get a better idea of what they look like up close. First up is the Guardian ship. This is a small poly bag, set number 30425. Only had about 70 pieces. I think it looks really nice in this micro scale. As we spin around, you can see the cockpit is designed quite well. The wings have some very nice detail on it. And in the back, there's a piece that comes out to form a shuttle that you see right here in the back, which really represents the escape pod or shuttle that Rocket, Thor, and Groot used in the movie. Overall, a nice design for this micro build and well done as part of a poly bag. Next up, we have the Outrider Dropship Attack. This includes four minifigures in this small vehicle. You can see Captain America and Black Widow here. The other two figures are Outriders, which are the foot soldiers of Thanos' army. There's a lot of stickers and nice coloring on here. I like the combination of the teal and dark blue with the black background. I think that looks pretty nice. The back of the ship, you can see if you look closely, the Infinity Stone is there on a, on a rounded stud with a post piece. As these Outriders come around, you can see the really nice gold and black printing. I like the gold on top of the black of the Outrider. I think that looks really good. There's some red there around their face. And they have, these are the six arm version of these. So there's a kind of backpack piece that has four clips on it to provide the extra arms. Next up is Thor's Weapon Quest. I like this model because it integrates with the Milano from Thanos Ultimate Battle, which I think is a great feature of it. The three minifigures are really good, having Groot, Rocket Raccoon, and Thor. I like the use of this sand blue, and the use of stickers is pretty good on this set as well. The clear pieces give a nice view of the interior of the ship, and it actually fits all three minifigures. Very compact design, but very functional. It does come with the purple infinity stone, and this little lightning generator or forge piece where Stormbringer, Thor's new weapon, is forged. There are a couple stud shooters also on the ship to allow for an additional play feature. Next up, we have Corvus Glaive Thresher Attack, with Corvus Glaive being the, the big bad guy in this one, an outrider, and then our three heroes, which include Vision, Black Panther, and his sister Shuri. I like the coloring on this one as well, the black, and trans purple, I think, go well together. You see a lot of trans purple in, these, in this wave. There's a lot of pearl gold accents, as you see as we move around this. It comes with the yellow infinity stone, or mind stone, which makes sense because that's the stone that was used with vision. The little thresher side build there actually has an action feature, and when you press down on that red button there, it will launch or spin the thresher towards whatever target you've done. Good use of stickers in this, not only on the computers, but on some stickers with Wakandan writing are seen inside, near the computer stations, as well as a couple of posters or stickers above the gate. The gate does have a nice action feature. Lots of stickers in this, so the, there are stickers above and below each of the windows, stickers on the windows that give it that kind of force field effect or the grid pattern that you see in the windows themselves. Next up, we have the Hulkbuster Smash Up. This is the Hulkbuster armor that Tony and Bruce Banner built to help 
defeat the Hulk. So we have Bruce Banner in this because he's the one that actually was in this suit of armor during the battle. The minifigure selection with this is very good. You can position the mech in lots of different ways, but there's also an action feature. When you pull on that 2x2 two two blue rounded piece there in the back, you can actually articulate the arm up and down by turning that. And the little cannon here that shoots that ball Technic piece is set up to break so it will bend forward if the Hulkbuster armor smashes down on it. The build for Falcon is also quite good with that very large backpack that contains his wings with it. This is Thanos Ultimate Battle. As you can see it has the big fig of Thanos along with Gamora and Star-Lord or Peter Quill and Iron Man the Mark 50 armor. The main piece of course is the Guardian ship, the Milano, which I think looks great. The coloring is really good. There is a cargo hold that holds the Infinity Gauntlet. It is lacking on interior space, so there is just enough space in there to fit both Star-Lord and Gamora. In fact, there's a little sled piece that they both fit on, and it also holds their weapons. You could probably fit another piece in there just in front of the Infinity Gauntlet also if you wanted to. This Iron Man minifigure is nicely done with a lot of stickers and additional jets and rockets along with some of those trans blue pieces to incorporate into the figure as power blasts and rocket engine exhaust, etc. So it makes for a very nice look and provides a lot of playability. Our last set is the Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown. This includes two buildings essentially. One is the Sanctum Sanctorum itself, where Doctor Strange lives and protects New York City. And Peter Parker's apartment. You see a bunch of webs here coming around. There are three floors on this model, which I think are all very well populated. Lots of hidden features and things to discover inside the Sanctum Sanctorum. Bookshelves and letters, a couple of different tiles. Lots of stickers that represent pictures inside of that. There's a pizza parlor below Peter Parker's apartment, and then he's got a workstation with a desk and a computer and then a bedroom. You'll probably even find a piece of pizza sitting on the ground somewhere inside there. Liberal use of stickers for some more web splats and signs on Peter Parker's side, and lots of good action features inside this set as well. The minifigures are nice. I like the Iron Spider where he has the additional arms there that come out of the suit and allow him to be more stable and, and fight in unique ways. Another version of the Mark 50 armor there, and I really like the Doctor Strange. Let's go back and wrap up my thoughts on this Infinity War wave. I think this Avengers Infinity War wave was quite good. I really like how the sets tie in with the movie quite well. The Outrider dropship attack, as well as Corvus Glade Outrider attack, both come from the Wakanda war scene towards the end of the movie, so those two sets go very well together. Thor's weapon quest is pretty accurate to the quest that Thor, Rocket, and Groot go on in order to get Thor's new weapon, Stormbringer. The nice thing about that is that the ship from Thor's weapon quest connects to the Milano from Thanos' ultimate battle. I do like the Iron Man that comes with all those additional accessories there. It comes with the ultimate battle. The largest set, of course, being the Sanctum Sanctorum, which is a great playset. A lot of good play features in there. I like the build for the fire escape on the outside. Lots of areas for battle damage, some spots to hide various things inside, and a few other action features like the web that allows you to have Spider-Man jump off the building or get pushed off the building and then come back up by winding the water tower. Overall, a great wave of sets for Avengers Infinity War. Lots of really good minifigures. We do get Iron Man in two of the sets, and we're missing a couple of the Guardians of the Galaxy, most notably Drax. But overall, I think you get a very wide selection of characters here and a wide variety of sets from the smallest $5 poly bag all the way up to the $100 Sanctum Sanctorum set.
Hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on this Avengers Infinity War wave. I'm going to get started on my next video. Until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and check out my other Marvel superhero videos in the playlist on the screen. Subscribe to see more of my videos and click that bell to be alerted when I post